previously on The Walking Dead. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin, and AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ he was justified for killing him. The other kids didn't see it. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Lewis tune his piano. He opened up to me, and I admitted I had feelings for him. He had the same ones. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned, until Ten ran out of cover hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Louis. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we knew someone who did. At the start, I was so little, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. Stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Mitch was looking after all of us. He gave his life so we could go on fighting. I know that. Doesn't make it any easier. He'd want us to our friends and bring them home safe. And he'd want us to kill the people who took them. Abel's tied up in the basement. He passed out from the pain. Thanks. AJ wanted to stay down there and keep an eye on him. Hey, buddy. 
It's time for us to bury Mitch and say our goodbyes. I hope he's Get buried. away from him! You're the reason he's dead! Really? Well, it's true! We had a plan and that idiot messed it up! Hey, cut that shit out! Someone's gotta say it! It's what everyone's thinking! Ten! Let me handle this. Talk to Abel. See if you can't find out where Lily took Vi, Omar, and Asim. I wanted to hurt him, you know, to make him talk, but... I just couldn't. Maybe you'll get more out of him than I did. Should be strong enough to hold him. Brody. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. <sighs> Ready? from his afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know, from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> no offense, but I'd rather go back to my dream, so... If you don't mind... Squirt. Easy on the broken parts. I don't like your voice. Well, I'm real sorry about that, but it's the only one I got. <clears throat> and don't call me Squirt. You're a Squirt. you never done this before, have you? First thing you learn, I can't tell you shit if I pass out from the pain. Make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. We underestimated you little shits, but Lily won't make the same mistake 
twice. She'll be back. Trust me. She can't afford to leave anyone behind. You think Lily would come back for you? Look at the state you're in. You're worthless to her now. I can heal. There is no rescue party, Abel. Only a bunch of pissed off kids who want you dead. So tell us where our friends are. You trade it for mercy. <coughs> Lily will never give them up. Only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say. Point the guns the way we tell them to. You little turds are supposed to be easy pickings. I don't give a shit about your war, or your fucking Delta. You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I'd do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud, among the beasts, that shall ye eat? What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? Smoke will clear my mind. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Come on, kid. Don't make me wait all day. Tell me where Lily went, yeah. now! <coughs> oh, shit. That's a lot of blood. Oh, fuck. This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? Isn't that what you wanted? I did, but... You're gonna get your wish. When you pushed me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No! <laughs> my, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to turn on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise, you won't let me turn. I'm begging you. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. 
Please. I don't want to turn. Not that. I want to let me keep my face. You don't need to watch this. I want to. <sighs> At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. Come on, we have a boat to find. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was! Mitch died because he- Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, there it is. You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. seen this thing before? No way. Pretty sure I would have remembered an old-timey riverboat. From where I'm sitting, looks like that pier is the only way inside. Well, let's see what else is down there. There are a 
few on deck, a couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Wait, I see Violet. Holy shit. This is really it. We found them. There's plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. can see an entrance. Yeah. There's one at the other end of the boat, too. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. Don't boats have brigs? Boat jails. Maybe. But where? Now that... I... I... I don't know. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Walkers! Now we just need, what, a dozen walkers? How hard could that be? Maybe not as hard as you'd think. Anything useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. Loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. Huh. Are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. Horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. More torches. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention, scare the horses too. We could get on the boat easier that way. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. All right. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn this. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal this. I could build traps. Weapons. Yeah, we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about? James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. 
If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Well, hell yeah. Let's find out how much he charges for his services. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! A raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it! Where do you keep the people you steal? I don't know what you're... I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. The boiler deck. Second deck. They're all there. Clem, stop! Oh. Hey, Minnie. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. Not the new kid. I didn't ask to be put in charge. It just sort of happened. Is that the kind of wishy-washy bullshit you say to everyone back home or just me? Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did... ...like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What are you talking about? Marlin traded you and Sophie like it was nothing. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the... He wouldn't have gotten people killed. That is some grade-A horse shit. Clem saved us. And how come so many people are dead? He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. What? Minerva? Where's Sophie? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. A hero? God, you... Minerva! Shit. Him. Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're gonna save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. If Ten could see you now, he'd be ashamed to call you his sister.
Are you okay? It doesn't change anything. We still have to get onto that boat. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except Ten. I warned you. Enough. Both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Be safe. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow! Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. I, I tried breathing, kicking rocks. I don't like this feeling. Wanting to hurt somebody. It's okay to get mad at people. You can't help that. But those thoughts have to stay in your head, okay? Don't act on them. Ever. Okay. I'm strong. I can control what I do. But not what I think. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, the other kids haven't had it as hard as we've had. We had to make a lot of mistakes to learn what we know. Yeah. I guess, but Tin's mistakes are just so bad. Maybe he'll learn from them too, like we did. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. Eh, it doesn't work like that. It's too deep down inside you. Or goes away. That sucks. But you can resist it. Just I still like them. I like Tin the most, I think. Even some things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. I am not. Fine. He's my second first real friend.
I don't see James. Just monsters. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. Draw them away. Are you okay? Yeah, no bites. I know it would have been easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. Thank you for helping me get this back. How will walkers save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I... have something I need you to see. So you can understand what you're asking. James. We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. further.
Caitlin, what's this? It's called a salt lake. Salt lake? Ugh, sounds gross. Well, maybe it's actually good, like chips. Those are right. Like the snack bag in the car. Go ahead, lick it if you want to. <laughs> oh, gross. It tastes nasty. <laughs> well, now you know. Ugh, learning sucks. <sighs> Doesn't look like there's been a horse here in a long time. Must have had electricity here once. Beatnik. My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called it collect. <laughs> they used them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do, as people. As people? Well, not people exactly, but <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down, so few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. I wish I could see it that way. It'd be nice to think that everyone isn't actually gone. In a way, they're just lost. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? Clem's friend, Lee. She shot him before he did. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just... monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem! She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. If it gets bad in there, I'll need you to save me, okay? Can you do that? I... Yes. I'll always protect you. I know you will. The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Find the exit. I will. Don't let fear take over. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent, but be gentle. 
and be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. No bites. No bites. So, do you still think they're just monsters? Now that you've seen them at peace, any different at all? I... I think you might be right about there being something more to them. It was kind of nice in there. Really? I never met someone who understood. It's... Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before, too. Eight. You've killed someone? But I was justified. I see. <sighs> That's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. James. The walker in the barn, the one with the different eyes, what was his name? His name? What do you- How about the woman in the back, near the wind chimes? What's her name? I- I don't know. Asim. Omar. Violet. Those are the names of my friends, the ones who were stolen by the raiders. I'll never forget that. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. 
It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. You said there might be people inside walkers. Did you mean it? Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. That sounds weird. But if you believe it, I do too. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. I've never met anyone like James before. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. <laughs> what the hell is a hoot nanny? <laughs> it's just another way of saying party. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but... People need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be her last chance. Mm. I wouldn't make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make uh, the decor decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. Hmm, what's his name? Beat Nick. <laughs> That's funny. Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. I'm gonna show him the tin later. School pride. Go Erickson. Go where? No, like cheering them on. How's the drawing coming? Can I see? Nope, it's not done yet, but it is pretty good. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there.
Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. And usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. I think there's something wrong with me. You're way too little to see so much death, AJ. So much violence. No, I'm big enough. And when I'm bigger, none of this will bother me. I won't let it. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah, the older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. AJ, we've talked about this a lot. If I get bit, you know what has to happen. I don't want to talk about this anymore. But you brought it up. We're going to. It does something weird to my stomach. Like I'm gonna get the dookies. <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not going to do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not going to shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I want to be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> you can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? You said... <sighs> Guess not that we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. Hey, little man. Hi, Louis. I'm going on patrol. So, patrolling's a thing? Mm-hmm. Patrolling's a thing. I was wondering, well, I can't help but thinking. <sighs> you shot that raider who grabbed me, but you saw them take Violet too, which means you could have saved Violet and not me. Why, why would you pick me? 
I mean, I wouldn't have picked me. Hell, I don't know anyone who would have picked me. Well, I didn't really have time to think. I just made a split-second decision. I know I'm always teasing her, trying to get her to do that one eye roll she does. You know the one, where it's like, you're such a dumbass, she has to do a full-body eye roll. I do it because when I actually manage to make her laugh, it's worth it. If I needed her, she'd be there. Meet Cleaver in hand, ready to chop someone in half if it meant protecting me. Hey, we're going to get them back, Lewis. Yeah, damn right we will. Actually, um, that's... <laughs> that's not the only reason I dropped by. Ruby's whole party idea kind of made me realize something. What are you doing? Well, I figured since we might die tomorrow and never get to go on a real date, I thought we could. Damn it. Have one now. I promise I'll keep it short so we can finish getting things ready for tomorrow. <laughs> but I mean, nothing's wrong with short and sweet, right? Wait, that's not... I... forget I said that. Let's do it. I never thought I'd get to go on a date, ever. Really? Never? Have you met you? End of the world or not, someone would have at least tried to sweep you off your feet. <laughs> all right, all right. What? It's true. What do you know about dating, anyway? I'll have you know, I found some magazines in the headmaster's office that had some very interesting things to say about the dating world. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, like, it said you can tell a lot about someone based on what they look for in a partner. You know, brains, brawn, dashing good looks, great sense of humor, that sort of thing. <laughs> sure, I guess. What, uh... What would you say your thing is? That you look for in a guy? If you had to pick. Oh, dashing good looks, no question. Well, luckily I've got plenty of those. Is that why you told me you liked me? You using me for my looks? Huh, I guess we'll never know. I think that deserves a toast. A toast? Don't those usually come at the end? Hey, I warned you I'd make this quick. What do you say? To our last night alive. To our last night alive. Now that's the spirit. Though, I have to admit I didn't expect it to be so dis- You say it. So, I'll see you over there. Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow, where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and that was pretty gross, but it works. <laughs> I should start heading back to the admin building. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back! <laughs> You're terrible. Hey! I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. It's like they need us in the music room. Okay.
Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? You gonna play the piano all night? God, no. I wanna actually attend this thing. Then how? You've never seen a record player? Come here, buddy. I'll show you. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. Wouldn't happen to have any good jazz records, would you? Oh, yeah. The old music teacher was a big fan. Pretty cool guy up until he ditched us all. What's jazz sound like? It'll make sense when you hear it. Look, check this out. When you turn that crank there, it plays music. Any kind you want. But how? Well, that... I don't really know, but showing's better than telling. Come on, get a closer look. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Rim gets natural moonlight, so... Something to compliment that, maybe? Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color guilty. And that describes us exactly not at all. I'll make it happen. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like... We're gonna get through this. Just trying to instill some confidence, you know? AJ, why don't you come up with something? Really? I have an idea. It'll be a surprise. I promise not to swear all over it. Okay, we'll have ten break a paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem! Check it out! I found a bunch of books on ships! There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff! The key is the boiler. What are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Ides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. Uh, is it me, or is there a bit of a bomb obsession at this school? Well, it's not you. There totally is. But for good reason! The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how he treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell ten. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle? I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. 
it'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. All the best bombs have names. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. You made it, so we'll name it after you. Willie Jr. That's like my name, Alvin Jr. It is. I used to hate my name. Not anymore. Welcome to the world, WJ. <laughs> I found them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probation ports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlin. Yeah, I guess it does, but no. Wasn't him. That's Ruby's file! <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry, that was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Dude, no. Chronic masturbation. Willie, I speak for all of us when I say nobody has ever, ever wanted to know that. What does that mean? Uh-uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? I like all kinds of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? I don't know, a lot. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Put on the classical stuff. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored this, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Erin, she had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. I was hoping you'd tell me. So, my family was so rich. 
Parents gave me everything I wanted when I wanted it. Except for one thing. Singing lessons. God, I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson. I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought... I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? So, I broke into my dad's credit card accounts and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. This is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't be both. You know, those two would have been happily married forever, but... Then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. I came here the week after. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty fucked up. I'm in complete and total lament. They said we were bad people, Glem. They weren't wrong. Still, none of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. Don't beat yourself up. You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when... Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared. Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. For you, Minnie.
Hey, sweet pea. Lee? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick stunny. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. <laughs> I don't think you were fooling anyone. Hey! Don't feel bad. Monsters took over the world. And you got stuck taking care of an eight-year-old girl. What were you supposed to do? I guess I let it show a little, huh? You want to tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many, and they always fall apart. But I really like that it's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. Imagine how Violet will feel when she finds out you came to rescue her. You'll have given her hope again. <sighs> oh, Sweet Pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. Alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A boy who thinks the world of you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again when you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know of any. Lee? I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it? He'd be hard, too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. You doing okay? 
<laughs> oh my god, Lee. AJ's trouble sometimes. He wouldn't believe it. And he has no idea. He's growing up too fast. <laughs> Sounds like someone else I know. short um you don't know how hard it is to find scissors these days <laughs> time to go clementine you've got people that need you <sighs> goodbye lee Wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. We're really this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh... So cool! How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh. I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to... Not right now. Yeah, right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. Functional and fashionable. I'll take two. <laughs> Funny. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, uh, Ten, come here, buddy. I gotta tell you something. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just... being welcomed. It's strange. That one boy called me cool. Not sure anyone's ever said that to me. 
Yeah, well, they don't scare easy. Not after what we've been through. Even if you are wearing a skin mask. They're brave. That's good. Courage isn't easy. I wanted to show you something. This is... was my boy. We joined the Whispers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whispers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison, and I believed in that fiercely. So much so, that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him, didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember it. All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. It was enough of a reason for me. What's your point, James? After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. And no one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. When he said it was the right thing to do. Taking life like that, from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Dan, take care of the supplies. And I'm in charge of the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Lewis told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just... If you see her out there... Tell her, tell her I forgive her, please. I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. It's really hanging, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Other people's lives are depending on us. Depending on me. You're depending on me to... What if something happens to you, Clem? What if... What if I can't? I don't know. I can't carry that the rest of my life. I 
I wouldn't have asked you to come with me if I didn't believe in you. Seriously, Louis, I mean it. Just believe me until you believe yourself, okay? All right. Though I don't know if that's as easy as you think it is. <sighs> okay, I'll try. What if I just get us caught too? All it would take is one little screw up, and I'd screw up all the time. Uh, all right, come on, Louis. Get it together. I need you to slap me. Help pull me out of this. Right here. I... I can't tell if I feel more focused or less. <laughs> what are you doing? You'll learn when you're older. Go look in another direction. It's ready. Ugh. Oh, we're not doing what I think we are. That depends. What do you think we're doing? Oh, God, we are. It'll help us blend in with the walkers. There. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Uh, no, you're not. There. You know, walker blood is one of the hardest stains to get out. You owe me some new clothes. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. the walkers. Use them as shields. Leaving cover, we'll have to crawl along the side of the dock.
You okay? I'm fine. Stay close. Stay hidden. Ready, AJ? Walkers incoming! Getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Ninny said they keep prisoners on the second deck. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? Boiler. way in.
dad proud, Willie Jr. We all love and support you. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour? Thirty minutes? I guess we'd better move. Minerva, focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I have a little brother, just a short, scarred face. See? He? He's not out there, is he? Look this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. There's no way we can get in there without her seeing us. Get. Out. Not without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just... just tell me that he's safe. Me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother, and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Get Violet first. She needs to know you're here. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Doreen comes back. Louis, give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Violet. Violet. Vi, what happened? Are you okay? Violet, talk to me. We're here to take you home. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. I'm sorry, Violet. It was a mistake. If I could take it back... Whatever. What's wrong with you, Vi? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. No, Clem. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You mean the Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. One of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed. If you fuck this up worse, I'll stop you myself. And don't think I won't. I'm not losing her again, or anyone else. We can't give up now. If they take us back to their community, we'll all die. So what? Your plan is to speed up the process? Whatever you do, leave me out of it. Violet, come on. Fuck off.
staying here that long. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! <sighs> Thank God. Is Vi all right? She's saying she won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? Ugh. We're not moving yet, so at least we've got some time. I guess. Lewis, are you all right? <laughs> Me? Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to figure out the best way to survive an explosion. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. How you holding up? Lily... She scares the shit out of me, Clem. Earlier she came down to talk? Fuck! I don't think I've ever been that afraid. She's not messing around. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. Omar, are you hurt? Let's just get out of here, okay? We will. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you, it ain't worth it. St back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! That was my call. I killed him myself. Back up. Minerva. Oh, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and killed two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. 
I bring a prize like you back to the Delta, it might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. You should have never attacked us, Lily. Your mission was a bad idea from the start, and you failed. And you're still mouthing off, despite being in a cell. That'll change. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it Parable of the Twins. Two girls were taken from there and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting or they'd lose everything they built, their crops, their power, even their lives. I wonder if that's how the twins would tell it. One of them would. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. Shit, Grinny! What the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one? You, you brainwashed her! You people are fucking sick! Better back away from the door. All right, Lily, you made your point. I'll do what you want. No, don't say that, Clem! Look what they did to Minnie! Just don't hurt anyone else. Good. I'm surprised to hear you bend so easily. But this isn't a negotiation. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the Mori. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Lewis, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo, you better cool it or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! Easy! Stay still! No, 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 please! Come! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Come on. Just 
Just breathe. Enough. He bit me. I said that's enough. You deserve to die. We'll kill you. You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river, and we'll put a knife right to the side of your head. Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin, and I was justified. Dang. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Leave him alone. This is between us. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, Clementine! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here, fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't you dare look at me like that! This is the only way we survive. Are you serious right now? After everything that she's done, you're just gonna help her? Fuck you! Man Fuck off! What the hell happened to you? You killed Sophie! What the fuck? You just decided, hey, I'll work for these people. They surrender enough. Don't what the fuck like are you, you doing? Understand You're gonna what get happened. us all killed. You were damned. <laughs> fuck you. <coughs> what the hell are you doing? <coughs> AJ. I... I can... Uh, I'll be fine. Better see you on land. You will. Focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Found one more. Plenty Sneak of food, come beds for you and Clem. You can eat. Tin! Fuck. Tennessee. Did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show. 
This way. Found this in the herd. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? You force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. <coughs> Kill it. No! Fuck! Easy there, Ted. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all breath? All right. Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No!
Sometimes I don't know the reason why So I guess I'll keep gambling lots of moves Gambling Well it's easier than just a way Tuscaloosa.